This is an invitation for you if you are stressed, if you have tension. And maybe the stress or tension is caused by classism, which maybe you face like I do, or maybe other forms of discrimination, or maybe because of relationship problems or because of working conditions. So what we're gonna be doing now in this mini workshop is two different things. First of all, we're gonna be doing a bit of breath work. Now, the thing is, is that I am a summer breath instructor. And from this, I have learned that the ancient pranayama, so breath exercises, which come from the area, which is now called India, can have a healing effect on the body. We're also gonna be doing some shaking. Shaking has been observed among certain animals where after a stressful experience, they will lie on the floor and shake their bodies, thus releasing the emotions that they've just been experiencing. So Dr. Baresel van der Kolk is a psychiatrist and he, was, he is a very strong advisor for body work because after stressful experiences, our body can remember them and store the emotions, store the production of certain hormones or proteins, and then reproduce them in times when they're totally not necessary. This has effect on the physiology of the body because we can be in an unhealthy way in the flight or fight mechanism, which has an effect on our immune system, among other things in our bodies. So through the shaking, we'll be releasing the emotions. So it is maybe in itself a useful thing for you to help you deal with the stress, the tension that you have, or maybe it will need to be alongside other forms of therapy, which is then being led by someone who is a trained practitioner, maybe a new therapy. So that's the first thing to say here. Thing is, there is a political dimension to this here. So Dr. Bressel van der Kolk says that ideally he won't be able to do his work. He was talking about how soldiers who've been fighting in war are then coming back from war and bring the traumatic experiences with them and therefore are in need of different kinds of therapy, including body therapy. He says, ideally he won't be doing the work because it won't be wars. So it is the results of political societal events that influence our bodies. So I mentioned classism, but it is similar with other forms of discrimination. That either the discrimination that we face has an effect on our bodies, causes the stress, or we can just simply go into the state of internalizing the discrimination that comes away and we can discriminate our, against ourselves. So I am saying this, however, maybe it's the case that you are having a similar struggle to mine or maybe different struggles because of different forms of discrimination which are coming your way. But John Oliver, a psychologist, has done a lot of research among people who you would consider to be privileged. So people who are quite rich, even millionaires, and it has been shown that even people like these, maybe you are one of these people, can still feel stress and tension and trauma. His work, uh, based upon research in a number of different countries, is that the values of competition and like individual responsibility as the self as the only way of defining whether one has success in life can leave people feeling isolated and in a state of yeah anxiety. So maybe your struggle is like mine or maybe it's similar, but in any case, this mini workshop here has been offered to you in solidarity with all of those who are being negatively affected by different forms of discrimination or by the political economic system, which I will call, let's call it neoliberalism, 
is since the birth of neoliberalism, which largely started in the 1970s, but then to grow more in the 1980s, which has resulted in an increase in the values of competition and individualization of problems. So what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be starting the music now. Now, we're going to start off a bit of breath work. We're going to be finishing with a bit of breath work as well. And when we come to the shaking, we're going to be doing it. It'll be like eight minutes. Now, I'm going to be guiding you in it. I'm going to be saying, now move this part of the body. Now move that part. This will be the beginning. And at the end, I'll just leave you free to just move your bodies as you see fit and focusing on different forms of tension. Maybe during this time, emotions will come up. Maybe sadness, maybe anger, maybe tension. Maybe you get really annoyed with me and my voice. Who knows? Like what will happen? But all kinds of emotions that then come up because of the releasing of these feelings from the body. So just go with it. Go with it. Let the emotions come out and let yourself let go of these emotions. Yeah, so let's make a start then, shall we? So get yourself now in a place where you can free to move. So you're not going to like hurt yourself and making sure you're going to be undisturbed during this. So let's go. Okay, let's breathe. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. That lovely breath, take it in and out, filling your body with lovely oxygen and releasing lovely carbon dioxide. Storing up now energy for what is to come. So just feel the sensations of that breath. The physical movements. Breathing in through your nose. Out through your mouth or your nose. Right, now stand up as we move into the shaking now. And start shaking your right leg. Don't worry how you look. I'm making myself look a bit stupid here. So you can feel free to do so as well. So you can put your foot on the floor or maybe raise it up. So you can just feel the shaking as it moves from your foot to your ankle. If your problem's balancing, then either you can just hold something or just put your foot on the floor and let that shaking move up your leg to your knee, to your thigh. coming up to standing on one leg again so you can more freely move that right leg including your hip an experiment move your foot in front and behind and now let's do the same with your left foot now so begin to shake that left foot It doesn't have to be with the beat. It doesn't have to look good. There we are, maybe lifting up that left foot. Maybe be easier to balance on this leg. And let that shaking move up that leg. So your ankle moving to your knee. And 
maybe it looks ungainly. It doesn't matter as long as you can just release. So experiment with your leg being in front or in behind. Let's do both of them moving now. A bit like kicking movements, kicking off the stress, kicking off the emotion, let go. And now both feet on the floor and waggle those knees. Is waggle the right word? Just move those knees. side shake shake go with it and that will move the shaking up the body to your hips a lot of tension can be stored there Waggle those hips, move those hips from left to right. Be conscious of your breathing now. Maybe open those legs a bit and move. Those hips, yeah, nice and freely, let go, shake, and move, the shaking slowly up that body of yours. Yes. And now those shoulders can start moving forwards and back. And put that right hand in the air and start shaking that hand while still shaking the rest of your body. Bring this that left hand arm, move it in different places, just feel what the sensation is like. And then put your left hand in the air and shake that. your hand in a different place and let's move yes push 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 that stress away whether it's pushing down pushing away from you moving also the shaking coming from your shoulders let yourself move around now as you get more into the shaking the shaking moving you more as you're almost dancing now now remember it's not about looking good now it's about Finding where the tension in your body is and pushing it, shaking it away, letting go. I'm going to close your eyes now. So you can concentrate on the sensations that are coming up now. Put your arms in the air. Pushing, shaking with both arms in the air. And moving those feet, getting into the dancing now. Let go. Move as your body is telling you to do. 
your body has a wisdom. So listen to it. Feel. And then take an in-breath and raise your hands. And breathe out while moving your arms back down to your side. Breathe in, move your arms up. Breathe out, putting your arms back down. Back up again, breathe in. Breathe out, move your arms and dance. Shake yourself, let it go. Let go, when you breathe out, just let that tension, the stress go. Slow down slightly and let yourself feel joy. Just slow it down now. So sit down now. Woo! Breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth now. Notice how you feel now. This lovely breath calming you down, calming you down. So breathe in joy now. You can really do it. Breathe in joy. You are a beautiful person. Embrace that. Right. So So I hope that was enjoyable for you. I hope you're feeling well now. This is the first in a series of mini workshops that I'm going to be releasing on this YouTube channel, The Utopian Trainer. So <laughs> click on the subscribe button so you can see more of these. So thank you for participating in this. I'm going to wish you now a good day. Bye.